Today we're going to talk about the bomb, 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 bomb hydraulic clutch for the turbo. Number one question: uh, When the clutch fails, and I have nothing. So if you have this on your machine, and you pull the lever, and the pin does not come out, okay. That means you do not have any fluid or very little fluid in the clutch line. So master cylinder, slave cylinder, okay? The first thing I suggest doing is a little set screw. You can see it right there. This is a two millimeter set screw. If you tighten this, that increases pressure in the line. So if I take this, Okay, and I go underneath the handle, it's on the machine, this is going to be on the side and underneath the handle. Okay, and if I tighten this, if I have any, that'll tell me if I have any fluid whatsoever in the line. So tighten, tighten, tighten. Okay, you can go almost to max on this, tightening it. And then pull your clutch lever. Do I get anything out of the slave cylinder? Okay, if you get a little bit, then you have a little bit of fluid in there. If you get nothing, the fluid's completely empty. I'm going to show you how to recharge this both with a proper fitting and a syringe in the manual way, if unfortunately you have to do that in the field and you don't have that fitting, which is hard to find. I'll try to find a link to Amazon, um, but this is how you do it. Okay, the first step to recharging this clutch is to make sure that that set screw I just explained on how to adjust it, make sure that's out as far as you can get it without letting it come all the way out, obviously. So you wanna loosen the pressure completely in the line to fill it. Okay, so, we are going to bleed the hydraulic clutch from the master cylinder, which is the handle, and drain it out the slave cylinder. So this fitting here, we're going to take out. And then we're going to take out this fitting. to insert the syringe fitting. So remove this. Okay. So you're going to get some of your Magura blood oil and suck it up into the syringe. The reservoir in the clutch does not take a lot. So if you bring up even a quarter, you know, you could fill a quarter of the syringe, that would be enough to bleed the entire system. So you're gonna screw this fitting into here, into the master cylinder side. And then you're going to raise this above so you're going to get air and oil that is going to leak out of here as you put fluid into the master cylinder and you're going to want to get as much as of the old oil out as well as see the air bubbles come out And once you see all the air that's out of the line, you're gonna reinsert your fitting. Okay, once you get your line recharged, you should be able to, if everything goes successfully, pull on the lever and see the slave cylinder pin going in and out. Uh, if that 
does not come out after you followed all these steps, then you're either going to have a bad slave or a bad master cylinder, and it would be time to replace your clutch. Um, but as long as that's going in and out, you should be good to go. And when you reinstall it on your turbo, you're going to go back to that set screw and adjust that until you get the proper pressure for your particular machine. Okay, if you do not have this tool, uh, I strongly recommend purchasing one. Uh, this is a six millimeter threaded fitting uh, that goes in the slave cylinder. If you do not have that tool, however, it is possible to bleed the system. It's very, very time consuming. Eh, it might take you 15 minutes or so. You're gonna leave the slave cylinder screw in, this one. You're going to take this screw out and you're gonna have to manually bleed the air out of it. So if you pull on the lever, it'll if this screw is out, air will start to slowly pop out of this and you'll have to manually pour a few drops in at a time pull the lever bleed the air out more drops until you get the system functioning um, pain in the butt time consuming but you can get up and running pretty quickly that way um, so hopefully that helps uh, with recharging the clutch